Hey YouTube, KBK here coming at you with another video. Now what I got for you today is all types of Titans in Attack of Titan. Ranging from the Pure Titan to the 910 Shifters. Without any further ado, let's get into this video. Now the first type of Titan is the normal, the pure, or the mindless Titan. Basically they target people, they eat them, and their bodies and their minds are just absolutely mindless, like a zombie of course. And they just wander around for years and years and years. Not knowing that what state they're in, they're just mindless. They have no idea what's going on around them. They just want to eat people because, well, they've been wandering for years, probably hungry. And that's about it to the pure titan. Now, moving on to the second type of titan is the abnormal titans. The abnormal titans usually don't go after people. They don't target people. They usually just run around and do abnormal things. Not doing the normal things that the pure titans do. They do abnormal stuff. So that's why they're called abnormal titans makes logical sense, in a way. So now we're about to move on to the nine Titan Shifters. Probably my favorite. My favorite. I think it'd be a bad type of my favorite. But anyway, the first Titan Shifter is the Armor Titan. He has hardened plates of armor-like skin. He has armor all around his body. It's great for defense. He can. He has a little bit of speed, as we was shown as he was running away with Aaron, Berthold, and Ymir. And, um... I believe when they kidnapped Baron, and when Wall Rose was breached, it was shown that he has high mobility. Also, he has some offensively, but he's more defensively. Or the armor Titan is more offensively, more defensively. The current holder is obviously um, Ryan and Ron, but. Moving on to the second Titan chapter, we have the Attack Titan. It has ginormous amounts of strength, but it's, it is slow. It's not very slow, like the Colossal Titan, it's just slow. So, like, you know how the armor Titan runs? Probably Eren would run a little slower than Reiner would. But he has a ginormous amount of strength. You know, the Soul of Boulder, Tara Rock, well, the, Titan, the Attack Titan do has to just punch it and it would just go everywhere. It was scattered everywhere. And then um, the third Titan chapter is the Jaw Titan. The Jaw Titan has strength in his claws and his jaw. If you put anything into his jaw, like a rock, he crushes it like paper, or he crushes it like feathers. And just compared to any light object, that's how the Jaw Titan works, and it's very, very, very useful. So you have like a hard, like, something you can't break. Just get the Jaw Titan, put it in a jaw, and crush it, and there you go, you have materials to provide for anything you need. Very useful Titan Shifter. Now the fourth Titan Shifter is the Female Titan, which is, real, which is inherited by Annie. It has an eyes hardening ability and high mobility. You know, we all know Annie has speed, you know, she's... She basically training, like, remember whenever she, like, kicks Reiner's and Aaron's kind of, like, asses, you know, we know she knows how to fight, and she knows how to, like, really run in that form, too, and she has, she has, like, substances to where she can harden her skin with ice, kind of like the Founding Titans, because it makes logical sense that each of the nine Titan Shifters has the Founding Titan, or, like, Ymir, inside of all of them, so it makes sense that some of, some of the Titans, you know, say, like, the Beast Titan, has like the same ability as a founding titan. It makes sense because all of them contain a sub um, contain a mirror, like a link of a mirror in all the titan shifters. I'm trying to explain. It's kind of complicated, but it's it's that. So that was the female titan. Now the fifth titan shifter. Yeah, okay. Is the colossal titan? It is very tall, obviously from we seen from the first chapter. And it has huge strength, but it's very very slow. So the attack titan is faster than the colossal titan. The Colossal Titan is very useful. I mean, since it's very tall, like, if anything were to attack the ground, all the, um, the Colossal Titan would have to do is swoop it and just throw it. I mean, it's not known for attack, but it can be useful when attacking, but I'd probably use it for defensively because of its tallness, and because it's very slow. You know, you kind of want to get everything behind the Colossal Titan because nothing can basically get over it. It's like the tallest Titan. That is the Colossal Titan. Now coming at the sixth Titan Shifter is the Founding Titan, possibly the most useful one out of all of them. And it can scream and control the other Titans or the subjects of Ymir. It can also alter the memories of the subjects of Ymir. And basically, it can also transform them into Titans. Say so like they got injected with serum or just the screech or they're just subjects of Ymir, they turn into Titans. So the Founding Titan also has like a ice like um Skin, um, hardening of the skin, like um, Annie with her female Titan. See so yeah, how they're kind of linked with all with one another because they all contain Ymir inside of them. The, the nine Titan chapters contain a Ymir link in all of them. 
or a part of the Emir. There we go. Jeez. Anyway, so that is the Founding Titan. The Founding Titan possibly is the most useful one out of all the nine Titan shifters. So that was that. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, now the seventh Titan shifter is the Beast Titan. The Beast Titan has powerful throwing. I wouldn't say offensive, just powerful throwing, as Zeke demonstrated in when the um, survey corps were in the Shigashina district to go into the basement and recapture Wall Maria. He threw it over the wall and like it affected their survey corps. He could also screech two to transport subjects of the Emir into Titans, kinda like with the founding Titan. I like how all some somewhat all the Titans kinda link up together when it comes to abilities, or some of them at least. So the eighth Titan shifter is the Warhammer Titan. This one's the most unique one, personally. And it creates weapons by hardening from underground. Say if it wanted to make a sword, it just harden, hardens from underground to make a sword or a spike. As it was demonstrated in the Raid of Livrio, whenever the sister of Willy you know, used spikes to prevent Aaron from attacking it and inheriting Warhammer Titan. Warhammer Titan is very useful offensively without a doubt. And that's the Warhammer Titan. Now, the last Titan ship I have on my list is the Card Titan. Card Titan can be very useful. Its endurance is very high. You use it for defensively, and you can use it for offensively either. It has quad like form. In like, say if you have like cannons, or like, yeah, cannons basically. You can set up a station on a Card Titan, put cannons on all four areas, and use it offensively while using it defensively too. That's what's awesome about the Card Titan. And it's very unique, just like the Warhammer Titan. And possibly the Jaw Titan's unique. So basically, that was all the nine Titan shifters. Let me know what you thought of the video. If you liked it, hit the like button. If you disliked it, you know what to do. Hit the subscribe button. And maybe I'll be notified when I'm making a video. I am signing out. See you later.